Good morning. It's a weekly wrap up for the 13th of May. We're going to start off with some celebrations. Uh, first things first, a big shout out to all of the students that participated in the Deeper Learning Night. We got some pictures here. It was a good event uh, to finish out the year. We'll do another one next year, probably around October, November. Uh, got HSA kids taking vital signs, kids in the STEM Academy working on some artwork in the engineering room, all kinds of good stuff and projects, kids on the main stage that have not traditionally presented before. It was really cool to see uh, the amount of work that uh, folks did and just all of the good things that are going on on campus. Uh, it's really nice to see the growth of the robotics program as well in engineering and just all the really cool things that we have going on. I continue to be amazed with what our students are capable of. Mock trial team also had a successful trial at the Deeper Learning event. I wanted to shout out to them. Our student lawyers, uh, Denaya, Alejandra, Cheyenne, and Sabrina, got to present in front of uh, actual lawyers and uh, did a really good job. So good job there and way to grow that program. I want to give a shout out to Ari and Allie, there are two graduation speakers. We had a graduation speaker competition last week and they were selected by the staff to represent us at our graduation this year. One will give a more traditional reflection on high school, the other one will give a more forward-thinking future reflection. So it's really awesome. It's gonna be a great graduation program this year. I wanna give a special shout out to uh, Selma uh, in the eighth grade and really just uh, the work she's done this year with the fun with friends and then putting together a birthday party uh, for Miss King uh, this past week. And, and, and I, I just want to celebrate the fact that in front of the whole school that, you know, Selma, you're a pretty cool kid. And that is the kind of stuff that makes a school awesome. Uh, the fact that you are so caring and that you have a heart of gold. You touched a lot of staff members. Good job, young lady. We are proud of you. Freshmen went to Chicago this past week, got some pictures there. They went to the Shedd Aquarium all over the city of Chicago. Good trip. Dr. Tall said it was a little cold. That's okay, though. We're going to go back next year. Baseball had senior night this week. Congratulations to our all of our baseball seniors. You can see our full team represented there. Good night had by all. We had a 15-0 win, which is always fun when we beat the pants off somebody. So well done there. Fifth grade defense, want to give a special shout out to one of our fifth graders that is coming our way next year, Mary Jane. She's coming to us from Tully, uh, had an exemplary backpack defense over at Tully and uh, mapped out clearly that she wants to be a more Mustang. Outstanding. A couple other recognitions, Martin McAdam, eighth grader, applied for and received the National Junior Honor Society Outstanding Achievement Award. Uh, getting a $500 scholarship and a uh, certificate of recognition. The first student for Marion Seymour to receive this. Congratulations. The middle school track team has broken nine records this season for the school, and six students have qualified for state. And we also had our sixth grade team win a meet for the first time in school history, way to go middle school track. And we had a teacher that wanted to give a special shout out to Junior Chong for stopping in the hallway to translate for one of their students. He's patient, kind, and helpful. Awesome. Good job, Junior. Junior English students are beginning to work on a podcast called Talk More. This will feature episodes on a variety of topics from who's the best rapper to car safety to what's it like to be Muslim in America. Be on the lookout for students who want an interview. You could be fe featured in a Talk More episode. Joseph Palmer, Metro Meet of Champion, Athlete of the Meet, first place in both the long jump and triple jump, number one in the state and number 47 nationally. Meet comprised of the top 16 athletes in the city from each of the events. Way to go, Palmer. Got a lot of events coming up uh, there on the homepage, but we've got graduation, senior activities, eighth grade activities, seventh grade activities, all kinds of cool stuff that is happening to finish out the year. We've got 18 days or so left. We need to focus on our prep, uh, prep preparation for all the academic assessments that are coming, K-Prep, ACT, Coyote, Industry Certs. And I wanna take a minute and talk about end of the year behavior, especially in the hallway. And this is mostly the high school side that I'm talking to, but middle school you need to hear too. Uh, hallways need to be clear. First 10 minutes, last 10 minutes, you don't get out of class. You need to be in class learning. Uh, we're not going to slack off just because we're coming up towards the end of the year. We're going to take a pretty heavy hand with the hallway moving forward. And you need to realize too that a lot of these end of the year activities pinned on your behavior. You know, if you uh, can't get it done in the classroom and you're out wandering around the hallway, don't expect me to let you go do fun things 
like going to Cedar Point or going to Malibu Jacks or other places like that. And for the seniors, you also need to be aware that a lot of the times hinging on this can be you walking in graduation. And I would hate to have to be the one to tell you that your behavior has prevented you from that. So make sure that we have ourselves in order and we're doing what we need to do every day. Also doors, do not ever prop a door on this campus and do not ever open the door for anyone on this campus, including me. Uh, they need to go through the front office or use a key. It's not your place as a student to open a door and compromise the safety of all of us. All right, social media, follow us on Twitter at More Mustangs at Rob Falk, Instagram at More Mustangs at Principal Falk, Facebook, search for the Marion C. Moore. If, I haven't, if you haven't heard me say it, I'll say it again. I remain proud of, to be the principal of our school, and I am proud of the progress that we are making. Let's have an outstanding week. Thank you all.